The heart of Istanbul transformed from modern European city to urban battleground. As dusk fell, riot police and protesters scuffled with each other, using on one hand tear gas and water cannon, and on the other anything they could find. For differing reasons, both Prime Minister and protesters had promised a return to the square, with neither side appearing to concede any ground. Earlier in the day, the police had tried using the same weapons of tear gas and water cannon to push people out. Some protesters fought back, throwing petrol bombs and rocks. But they were no match for the security forces. And what started as an environmental protest has at times resembled organized civil disobedience. Prime Minister Erdogan had asked people to clear out of the main square and to continue their protests in Gezi Park. I asked the protesters to look at the bigger picture, to understand what kind of game is on display and to withdraw from there if they are sincere. I expect this as prime minister. Both Erdogan and the mayor of Istanbul stressed that the police mean no harm. The security forces had been criticized for their treatment of protesters when they first gathered two weeks ago. Nobody believes the police and the governor when they say Police will not interrupt, will not come into Gezi Park. They, they, they don't believe them anymore. We saw policemen telling us, uh, come to the streets, you don't have to be afraid, and then they shoot at us. The original demonstrations were peaceful, by people against a redevelopment project that included a shopping complex. The government says it will not build the shopping mall, but construction for the area is going ahead. Erdogan has made some concessions, including an announcement that he would meet some of the Gezi Park protesters. But as the night drew on on Tuesday, in Istanbul, those apparently peaceful overtures seemed very distant aspirations. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.